we are living in the attention economy. That means that there is a lot of information, but our possibility to focus on this information is very limited. And that is what very important when we think about our audience. Now we see that when we speak about media, then this fight for the attention uh, happens not only with other media, but the challenge is that in the times of social networks you compete with uh, uh, your audience, uh, relatives, friends, uh, commercial organizations, everywhere they have different messages. Audience pay their attention to the basic fundamental signals that come from the different sources and usually they are connected with survival. So that is why audience always read more or listen more to news about um, some viruses, some frauds, uh, some danger to, for children, uh, as well as uh, non-standard situations and sex, everything that is connection with our uh, life and survival. But if we speak about these topics, then it is very important to uh, remember that scary messages uh, is not always the best solution because in this situation when we give some stressful information to audience they tend to isolate themselves from this information. In this case the solution can be um, adding some um, instructions how audience can avoid or solve this problem. So if you ask me what is the formula of the modern communication I would say that audience gives its attention uh, in exchange for the emotions that audience gets from the information source. So how can we give to our audience some additional emotions that they expect from us? And here I would like to share with you some research uh, about uh, neurobiology on how our brains react on different texts and actually, actually we see that uh, there is physiological connection between good texts and our brain and, and body reaction on them. And first tip that we get from the scientists is be simple. Don't try to be too smart. Second, be specific. Use specific words to describe some situations. And here we see very interesting connection between the words that we are using and our body reaction. Because in case if you are describing situation with very specific details, for example, you are saying, uh, I took the glass. Uh, in this case, uh, if I would be the participant of the survey, you would see that uh, my brain zones that are responsible for the moving uh, activate. So that means that good texts help us to see, to feel, to smell. Be surprising, that is the next tip. And uh, that is connected with our brain specific that we all the time predict what will be the next word in the sentence. And usually uh, when we, we are right, we feel okay with that, but that makes our attention uh, to sleep a bit. And in case if we include something surprising, something unexpected in our text, uh, that wakes up our attention. This is the first thing. And the second very important thing that makes us remember this moment much more. And one more tip from scientists. Use second person form, you form. And I will tell you about one more survey. Two groups of people read some text. The text was very similar, instructions on how to breathe correctly. But there was a small difference. The first group had instructions in impersonal form, just uh, breathing, your diaphragm is moving. The second group had this second person form, when you breathe, your diaphragm is moving. And the most exciting thing about the survey was that after this um, experiment, the second group uh, 
showed much better result in learning of these instructions. So they learned much more. So use this second person form in your text as well. If you would ask me to continue my modern communication formula, then I would say that uh, audience give its attention to media, to other uh, companies uh, in exchange of emotions and keeps its attention thanks to trust. So what I would like to wish you to be not only attention but also trustworthy.